As you'll all know by now, I have original seats. They're not the nicest condition. And the passenger, the passenger seat is even worse. If I remove this, you can see that it is absolutely knackered. Um, I bought some new seats. These are out of a Mark II Golf. They are not the easiest seats to fit, but I had to buy these ones. They were cheap and they have a patch. Patch, patch. See where I've gone there? Uh, so like I said, they're not the easiest ones to fit. If I flip this one over. So the original Volkswagen runners, uh, they have two guides in, I think it's the inner sills. Um, and then they have this section here that sort of locks in place. Like I said, it doesn't really lend itself to aftermarket applications. So I bought a couple of seat runners. Um, universal ones, I think it was they're about 24 quid each. I've got a little bit of angle iron. My plan is to hopefully cut the seat, these cut these towers so they're flush with this. With this. Take all this stuff, I don't need any of that. What I'd like to do is weld on one of those sections of angle iron across the back there. Um, one across the front so that we can bolt the runners to it and uh, Yeah, hopefully that's that's all we need. Okay, so we've got the original Adjusters for the sliders off They're held on with these little u-shaped brackets and a couple of Phillips screws. I've also cut three inches off the back of this seat um, No need to do that on this side I've managed to lower the seat and in its lowered position it happens to be pretty much the right height so um, that gives me something, I'll be able to cut these ends off, give me something there to weld to. Uh, the next step then will be to cut and weld the angle iron on there like so. On both seats, we can then assemble two of the seat runners and then they will bolt to the back of there. We'll then be able to see where on the front we need to how much space we need to weld a bar straight across there. That gives us our front mounting point. And then all we've got to do is put it in the car. Right, so we've got two of them cut out, drilled, ready. Obviously one of them is gonna sit that way there. And the other one, my plan is to work out, we'll assemble it in a moment, work out roughly where it's gonna go. And I can cut a slot in the front uh, of the seat to slot that down into, just to give us a little bit more to weld to. Um, obviously it's gonna be a bit like a tripod, mounted here on the two corners. Uh, if I do need more support, then I can always weld uh, braces to the frame here and to either side of there. So these runners come with quite a good little kit, different length bolts, some spacers, nuts, washers, um, the thing to remember on these is that <coughs> the bigger end goes on the seat because that's the end that slides with the handle. Otherwise, when you lift the handle to slide the seat, the handle will stay with the floor. So if you slide your seat forward, you may not be able to reach it. So I'm just going to, I might need to move these forward a little bit more, but let's see if we can get a couple of these on. So yeah, that will sit about there. And then uh, we'll fit the front one properly, properly in a moment. But that will go somewhere about there, probably that way around. <clears throat> the bolt holes should line up there. I may trim these edges down. I think they might, they might get a bit in the way, but that should be fine. And then that will go in there like so. And hopefully I've got enough movement with this. Um, if not, I'll have to put those, use a couple of the spaces that were supplied and just lift the runner up slightly. Um, but yeah, let's bolt that bit in and uh, see what we're left with. Yeah, so as suspected, it's just fouling here, so it's not a problem. In our little packet, there's some little spaces, so, and I'll probably need a couple of the longer bolts. And uh, we'll just go through there Pack it with a spacer, longer bolts. That should fix this little issue. 
There we go, longer bolts and spacer, one of the little spacers. And uh, if I hold that, if I hold the handle down, I've got nice little sliders. There we go. So next step, I think, will be a little bit of welding for here, around here. Mark that little bit there, cut the groove out so that sits down flush with that. I'll probably have to cut the front of this off just to make space for the handle. Um, but it'll only be the very front edge, so that's not going to be a problem. And then get the other seat done. Right, there we go. So we'll weld it in the front, we'll weld it in the back, we'll weld it in the back. I'll move my fire blanket. Didn't want to set fire to any of the seat. Um, you know what, I'm tempted to put this in the car and just see what it's like height-wise. Obviously, I, I know we need to put spaces in before I bolt it in, but yeah, let's see what it's like. Which kind of wants to be about there, so we're definitely gonna have to put a spacer under the back, but height-wise, if I hold it there, you can see compared to the driver's seat, it's not a great deal of difference. Um, do I have something I can put under there as a spacer? Let's try these blocks again. Yeah, it's comfy. It's very supportive at the front. The front's possibly a little bit high. Um, we've got, not really got any room, but height-wise, I've got plenty of headroom. I've got plenty of room down here at the moment, so. I can move the seat over a notch. I've got new seatbelt buckles to put in to go with my new seatbelts, which I did off camera. There we go. I uh, didn't like the inertia wheel being at the top. Um, it made it really awkward because they like to be at a specific angle. And uh, when they're at the top, they weren't. Um, so yeah, no, I might need to, might need to lower, lower the front or raise the back a little bit more, but I could live with this. This is pretty good. Right, let's get the driver's seat done. So there we go, the seat is bolted in. So what I've done here, I've ordered some spacers. Um, these are, I'll put the details below, these are actually washers, standard washers. Um, I will probably get the correct size spacers made up <coughs> once everything's all in and bolted in. Uh, one thing I would say is the seat is slightly too far to the right where I've mounted it. Um, I was a bit limited, uh, I don't think you can see. Down here, there's a cross member channel going along um, and it's, uh, it's tapered up at an angle and that stopped the seat going really where I wanted it. Now you can see my face, you can see I've had a haircut so it's not the same day. Um, it's been a week or so. <laughs> I've been waiting for the right spaces and the right bolts and whatnot. Um, if I, I'm hoping you can see, if I angle the camera, so I'm a bit, it's a bit fit in here. If I shut the door, it's a little bit fit. I am slightly off of center. I think that's my center. You can see the wheel. Um, it's comfortable though. I'm, it's all right. I can hang my arm out the door quite easily. I can see the speedometer quite easily. Not that it works. Um, yeah, it's gives more space, I suppose, for a passenger. Uh, oh, yeah, so I will probably redrill the mounting holes for the seats on the frames I made up. That is how you can mount Mark II Golf seats in pretty much any car. It's just a little bit of fabrication. Uh, and this would still mount, obviously, the passenger seat. And I want to do something with the back seats. I might, I still have got the rear bench seat if I get out. It's easier to get in and out when the seat's bolted in as well. I have got the rear bench seat. So I'm thinking of doing some, it doesn't quite fit because there's no cutout for the rear wheel arches. Um, so I've got two options. The frame is fairly accessible there. I can either modify the frame to, or cut maybe a section out and then secure this over to here. Um, or I can take the cover off and try and try and cover my existing seat. So, or option three is I get all new seat covers to cover all the seats in the same fabric or same material. Um, so I've got a few options, a few options there. So thank you all for watching as always. Um, make sure you're subscribed, like the video if you made it this far, and I will see you next week.